Hello everyone and welcome to round number two of Aero Season 4. We are here in Shanghai, China. We are here for round number three of the number two of the championship. Hopefully we have another exciting race like we did last season. Last well, probably last season and last week in Bahrain. I am X Polygon 26X and I am joined by FRA Chile. Uh, hello, man. Uh, yeah, it's good to be back, to be honest. After last week, you know, crazy final few laps we saw at Bahrain, you know, the top three of Rundle, Callum, and Arthur battling out on that final lap, you know, that that, that was crazy. And um, I'm hoping for more of the same today because uh, last week was a very good race. And ultimately, you know, it was really good showing from tier three. So I'm looking forward to uh, today's race at, at Shanghai. Yeah, that race was um, was entertaining for sure. Um, also, if you want to know why I'm sound different, I got a new mic for this race because last week I either had a la massive loud echo or I was extremely quiet. So now I'm running a better mic, so I should sound a lot clearer and a lot better for you you guys so yeah let's talk about uh last week's race obviously we all know the uh, final lap battle between arthur um callum and rundle obviously ended up with uh callum winning the race when it looked like rundle was gonna take it um <laughs> it was a very insane final lap but and overall the race it, the race was pretty it was pretty average not I mean there wasn't really many uh, battles going off aside from that but it was still a pretty decent race if you add that um, wild lab drama there's no doubt about that uh, hopefully today we have a much more exciting race throughout the race but hopefully uh, it's a good one obviously we have a wet qualifying so uh, I think that'll shake the, the whole grid up now. As uh, we see Raptor going around and into the barrier. I was on board with him. That's where he done his laugh. Uh, yeah, and, um, you know, last week's Bahrain race, you know, we saw even more things happen, you know. We saw we saw the likes of JSR Loop getting a puncture on. Um, on the final few laps is uh, on board with Arthur actually right now. He got a really loose out of the exit of Sector 1. But, uh, yeah, we saw that puncture from uh, J.S. Luke last weekend. And, you know, he was going to finish P4. Um, and that, that's what it really looked like. Maybe even P3, depending on Arthur's three-second time penalty. But, you know, he had an unfortunate... Uh, Array, so he needs to bounce back here as Rapid Extreme actually goes P1 right now. Um, ahead of MNK Boy already, and we have Callum who has recently signed for T Vapor. Um, reason why he has it in his name. Um, he's P3. Um, like Paul said, last week's race winner. Um, you know, had had the, the worn tires, but he still was able to pull it through. So, Will, will we see another race win from him again? You know, it, it could be close between you know, the likes of Arthur, you know, maybe even Utah Elephant will come into the mix here, but um, it's going to be a very close race. And, you know, for people like Callum, you know, he, he knows he really wants this race win, so um, there's a chance he might be able to get it today. Yeah, um... Callum, he... People might say he was lucky to get the race win, but it was hard racing at the end, and ultimately, if you take advantage of hard racing, you're gonna go out on top in a in a race, so you're gonna need to do stuff like that. Um, a few people... Think, is, is there anyone making their first start today? I don't think so. I think MNK Boy's making his return as he gets disqualified. Oh. As I bring that up. <laughs> disqualified for going the wrong way. This is gonna help him. I still sound really quiet. Hang on, give me a sec.
the transition to dry weather. Um, I, or it will stay wet. Um, obviously I don't have any, you know, confirmation from any tier 3 drivers, but, um, this wet qualifying really, um, shakes, it really makes the strategy the same here, because, you know, usually, um, people, you know, opt for softs to try to call you top 10, but, you know, the medium hard strategy around here is, can be very powerful. And I think what we'll see is that since there will be free tire choice, we'll be seeing, I think, most of the grids starting on mediums and hards to avoid the soft tires. Because as you know, the softs barely last around here. So just like Bahrain. So um, I think people will really go for that medium to hard strategy or even the hard to medium strategy to have a little extra grip at the end. But it will be... Um, it will be very interesting, though, um, to see if anybody does opt for softs because, you know, maybe people feel confident on the softs, you know, we'll have to see that, though, as the, as the race, you know, starts and progresses. Yeah, I mean, as I'm back, uh, by the way, I think everyone's saying my mic sounds fine, so maybe that's me being generally just talking a bit quite unusual, but yeah, you need, you need to be on the right strategy at the right time because... Um, as we saw in Bahrain, uh, in Tier 1, Jack was try, uh, doing soft, trying to do a two-stop, although that was on accident. A safety car came and that put him on the right strategy to go on and win the race. So, even even though you might be on the right strategy, a safety car could come out and completely <laughs> change the game for you. So, it's all about being on the right tire at the right time, especially at a track like China, where, um, um, the tires, she'd like to die out quite quickly, so hopefully, um, we see a good, good race because of that. The strategy is quite important around this track. Yeah, it's very important. But, um, you know, kind of, you know, transitioning from that, you know, obviously we'll, we won't be seeing much people on the softs, obviously, but, um, let's talk about qualifying a little bit here. Um, you know, we see Rapid Extreme still still pole position for the moment, but, you know, the track, it seems to be drying up, you know, just riding on board with a few drivers. The rain seems to have stopped a little bit, and I'm not sure if this is a visual glitch or, you know, something is wrong with the game, but it doesn't seem to be raining anymore, which means the track might be drying up here. So, um, there's still seven minutes left, so people could still opt for, you know, dry tires, you know, if it does come to that, but, you know, I'm not really too sure, to be honest. Um, but the rain has stopped a little bit. We see people, you know, coming, coming to the line to, you know, start their laps, finish their laps, and, um, trying on board with Riles real quick. He is a tenth up in the second sector, but he seems to be losing a lot of grip. And I think that's just because the track is, you know, it... I don't think it's in those conditions anymore. As we see, um, just looking at the tire screen, uh, ties in the Williams, um, fitting the medium tires. We have Hissy right now, fitting the soft tires in the garage. Squid Jr. fitting the medium tires. So, yeah, and you see there, Squid Jr. actually comes out of the garage on the medium. So it is t dry tires time. So forget the whole strategy talk. You know, we just had a few minutes ago. Now it's... Now it's going to be an actual dry tire strategy. So, will people opt for mediums like Squid and Ties, or will people be like Hissy and go for the soft tires? You never know. And also, the most important thing is coming out at that right time to start your final lap, because that's when the track is going to be at its best conditions. So, whoever comes out of that, comes back onto that track, um, it's going to be at a huge advantage. Um, so it's just all about making it to the line in time, getting that perfect, um, outlap, so you can get the best, um, the most out of the car and, on, and the best out of the tires. So hopefully at the end of the session we'll be seeing some, uh, people go out uh, quite late and starting their final runs like that. Um, as, you know, we see, um, we got you across the line. Uh, also, Callum coming into the pits. This is where now everyone's going to start coming in and uh, fitting on the dry tires. Um, 
think, was, I think uh, everyone pit, uh, it says for a squid, everyone's still on unis, it's gone out. But, uh, yeah, it looks like the dry line is starting to form quite rapidly now. It looks like it's almost, I don't think it's dry tires just yet, but I think it's going to be dry tires in the next, what, minute or so. As DRS has been enabled as I say that, so now it is dry conditions. Yeah, and, and there you go, and that's the confirmation, but but um, from doing a little bit of practice earlier, you know, the track is still a little bit slippery, though. Um, it still will be a little bit slippery, so, you know, people won't be setting those laps as, you know, riding on board with people like Rundle, who's on their outlap, you know, he's getting a little bit loose off some of the, the key traction zones here, so um, we're kind of uh, just on that phase where, you know, inters wouldn't work, but, you know, dries, you know, also wouldn't work, so... You know, most people are still sitting in the pits on intermediate tires here. As you know, as we see uh, Bobby, the, Bobby the Human uh, coming into the, the final hairpin here, uh, he's on inters on his outlap, so I'm not sure if he'll be coming in. in. Uh, yeah, he will be coming in. But we also see, I believe that's from Bugagi. Bugagi is currently on a inters lap, and I don't know, I think he might back out of this because. I just don't think it's interest anymore, but yeah, Blue Goggy is going to back out of that lap. He's not happy with that. Um, we see a McLaren coming back straight. That is Rundle now through the hairpin. So, Rundle is going to be probably uh, the guy who, you know, will give us a representation of what the position is like. As actually Rundle decides to come back in off of the soft tires. So, most people are in the pits right now. Probably waiting until... Um... For the right moment because if he starts his up now he won't have enough time to get another lap in so this might be um um a way to try and get um out late on because it's best because like i said it's best to get onto the track later in the session like at the very very end when the track is at its best then do a lap now and lose out a lot of positions because of because the track is still tiny bit down but i think it is now dry conditions for sure Yeah, definitely dry conditions, and we see that most people are opting for the soft tires. And there you go, Switch Junior. Our the first lap being set on the medium compound of tires. He sets a 43.2. He goes fastest, but he will probably beat, to be completely honest, because um, and I don't think that that's a slow time for dry tires right now. Yeah, the track is still the track is still you know getting up to temperature, getting up to to, to grip. It's still a little bit slippery out there, so. You know, we won't see incredibly fast laps, but, um, you know, we will see, uh, we'll, we will see faster laps starting to form. As, uh, as I was talking about that, Bobby the Human actually retired, and he didn't set a dry lap. He is 15th on inters, and we see not many people are actually opting for the medium compound of tires, and a lot of people are opting for soft, so, you know, th this will be the alternative strategy that we're talking about here, um, Will the medium runners, you know, have a chance of winning this race compared to the sub front who, you know, might have to do a whole two-stop here and get stuck behind traffic? Yeah, as we see, everyone's there starting to come out now for their final runs. Everyone's, there's like about nearly six cars in the first sector. It's going to be like Monza Q3 um, if people aren't careful. Um, hopefully everyone gets out and sets their lap times. Um, they're not invalidate or anything, but uh, I think the main ones setting laps right now are um, GSR Luke uh, and GSR Riles. Um, going in a bit late, a bit early, I mean. Um, as yeah, Riles is still struggling, so it's still not completely um, um, dry conditions. So the people on their outlaps will come out at the perfect time for sure. Um, as Squid Jr. actually goes quick, it's with a 37 6, but even then, I still think. That's going to be easily beaten because those still not fully, fully time for uh, still not fully, fully dry conditions yet. Yeah, and and this is the moment of qualifying that everybody is going to be crossing the lines. Riles goes P1, the 35.9. He goes P1 here. Luke goes pole on mediums, the 35.2. He goes pole. Next up is, I believe that's, uh, no, actually, uh, that's Brooklyn Reptile starting his outlap, uh, followed by the two McLarens of Comic Rundle. They're also starting their laps. 
Everybody's starting their laps here. Rapa Lucas starting his lap as well. Uh, we see we see Raptor now starting his lap. We see a whole train of cars in Sector 3. There's 25 seconds left to qualify. I think people are going to set their laps. Callum set it, start, starting to go for his outlap. Followed by the, the Mercedes of Black Thrall right behind him. We see we see Hissy now starting his lap. He will now go and try to set the last time. As Arthur has retired from the session. And he's going to be starting from the very back now, I think. Because that time is not competitive right now. Uh, Squid Jr. ending his lap. Will he improve from his 137? Um, we'll see. Coming around the final quarter, here comes Squid Jr. Squid Jr. is going to come across the line. He sets a 34-3. He goes pole position. And he's on three-lap old medium, though. So that's not going to help him. Next up, we have uh, GSR... Ra Actually, no. That is, I think, the Alpha Tari of Rapid Extreme. But it's the Alpha Tari of Rapid Extreme. Reminder, he was on pole position in the Vets. So now Rapid Extreme now coming around the final corner. Where is he going to go? I think he's going to go pole here. He does go pole. 31-0 on the softs. He goes P1, followed by the Williams of, I believe that's Ties. Ties goes Luke. P3, right behind GSR Riles. Here comes Luke, he's invalidated. Uh, we have the racing point of Broken Reptile coming across the line. And there's both McLarens of Rundle and... Rundle goes second, and Communist actually goes ahead of his teammate. And here comes Rap Lucas, who goes fifth. Uh, next up is the Renault of Raptor. Where is he gonna go? He's not gonna be set a competitive time. He's gonna go 10th. Callum's gonna go pole with a 30.8. Arthur Black Thrall's gonna go 6th. Next up is Blue Goggy who goes 5th. Hissy is gonna go 7th. And Utah for the last across the line. Has he invalidated? I think he has. 11th. No, he hasn't. He just didn't set a good enough time. So that's the end of qualifying. It's going to be Callum on pole. The last week's race winner. Yeah. And we saw that. And, you know, that was very stressful, you know. Because you, you had one opportunity for a lap. You had one opportunity because of how late the, the track dried up. You had one opportunity there. And, you know, people like Callum, Rapid Extreme, you know, they... They took advantage of it, and they set very good laps compared to the rest of the field. But we see Black's Raw, though, inside the top 10 on mediums. He'll be starting on mediums. Everybody else outside the top 10, I would assume they're going to start on mediums. I don't think they would start for softs. So um, we see one top 10 runner on the mediums, and the rest are on softs. This is going to be where the strategy really, uh, it's gonna be where the strategy really comes into play. Yeah, absolutely. As uh... Now we're gonna be loading into the race now. Um, bit interesting that Beans F1 has not set a lap time at all in this session. Um, maybe he's trying to do a last the question mark challenge. I don't know. Um, it will be um, it will be M and K boy standing at the back because he got disqualified. But still though, um, it's gonna be an interesting race. It looks like it's gonna be overcast. Maybe going to wet. I haven't seen. I haven't seen anyone mention anything about the weather, um, for the race. But I know it's wet. It was wet for quality. Wet to dry for quality. Uh, it's gonna be interesting to see how um people do its strategy. As some people are on the medium, some people are on the softs. Soft tires is definitely possible, but you need to be really, really good on your tires. Uh, or else you have someone like me getting a puncture like I did last season in China. Uh, ironically. Yeah, and looking at tire choice uh, outside of the top 10, um, three people opting for hards, and that's Arthur, Luke, and Squid Jr. They are all opting for the hard tires. All the rest outside of the top 10, except for Raptor. Raptor has opted for the soft tires, and I, I don't know if that's a mistake or not, but uh, especially how everybody else is outside the top 10 on mediums. Um, what do you think will happen to Raptor here? Because... You know, he, he's kind of like the odd man out here. Um, everybody else, you know, on the mediums, hards, the alternative strategy. But Raptor, you know, going for the softs at the start. What, what do you think of this? I mean... Uh, he's going to have better grip at the start. That is... I have a thing. I think he's going to try and make up places at the start. Trying to get his, his up to the other soft runners. And trying to um, save his tires, go on to the hard and go to the end. But the problem with that is, he's going to end up in a collision if he's too aggressive, which is what he might end up doing. 
to sing. And Squid, Squid Jr., Luke, and Arthur going on the hearts, that's a very interesting strategy. That could work, as Beans is actually going to disqualify for um, the uh, session from the formation lab. How, I don't even think he's um, done any, he, I don't even think he's moved at all for the formation lap, but um, yeah, oh yeah, uh, we need to do two favorites for this race. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll start with my two favorites for this race. Um, first I'm gonna go inside the top 10, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna go around running P4. Um, you know, he, he deserved the win last week, you know, I think we can all agree he deserved the win, he had the pace. Um, you know, maybe we can see a little bit of a redemption story here fighting against Callum in the final few laps, you know, we'll see though. But I'm going to pick Rundle for the inside of the top 10. And then for my second favorite, I'm going to go outside the top 10 here. And I'm going to go Arthur for this one. Uh, starting P16, um, I believe he is on the mediums. I will check that. Uh, no, he's actually on the hard tires, you know. If he can make this strategy work, I feel like he'll be in a good position to try to fight for a podium here. Two favorites for me, Polo. Uh, my first favorite, I'm going to do this quickly now since everyone's going to start to line up. Obviously the pole, I'm going to have to go with the pole sitter, Callum. Um, last week's race winner obviously got the pole lap. He came out, he did the lap at the perfect time. Can he replicate in the race? I mean, he has good competition, so it might not be too hard for him, but I think he could. And my other favorite is going to be outside of top 10, Utah Elephant. Now, if, if I end up jinxing him, he's going to kill me, but, um, sure, doesn't matter. He's... On the probably starting the best position possible, P11 on those fresh, fresh medium. So you might be able to take advantage at the start here. As we head on to five red lights for the Chinese Grand Prix here in tier three. As we wait for everyone to load in. As we wait for everyone to load in, up, oh, two, three, four, five red lights, and it's lights out, and away we go here in Shanghai, as I think Callum got a better start, yes he did, um, ahead of Rapid Extreme, Communist is starting to attack Rapid Extreme, as, actually Rapid Extreme is now kind of coming back at Callum, he has the inside, outside line, for turn two and three, as Callum stays ahead, just barely as at the back there's a crash um, that is Rappel Lucas he's already down to last as there's another spin oh that's that's Arthur Arthur's gone round and now he's down into 20 he's down now at the back as now uh, Rapid Extreme just behind Callum as uh, is being moved made Utah Elephant is up to 8th Squid Jr up to 9th on those hearts Raptor's gone ahead of um, of Roz now Roz is trying to fight back Adam, um, they're still side by side heading through here as Ra yes, because this is it, he actually spins! Raptor's around! And Raptor spun there, you know, he started on the soft tires, his strategy is ruined, and, you know, that, that was a really good start for some people, you know, Squid Jr. on the hearts, you know, P8 already, as uh, he actually gets passed by Utah Elephant, who's now P8 right now. Cal uh, the, the front four stay the same here. Um, leads from Rapid Extreme, Communist, and Rundle. The two McLarens decide not to swap. There's Yellow Fox in the back, and I think that's Arthur again. That's Arthur. Who has spun. Yeah, and it was Hissy. Arthur. Hissy goes off at the hairpin. Uh, you tell us, and, and Ra's going at it as well. Broken Raptor's at the session. Uh, you might want to invite him back. As the end of lap one, uh, Communist has gone past. Um, no, 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 no. Never mind. It's, it's the glitch. Uh, ignore me. Uh, we'll just have to go off of this where when it as Elysio's retired from the session, he's retired in the pits already. So not even lasting a lap. As Arthur's gone to the pits, uh, to Paris front wing. What's he gonna do now? I believe he's probably gonna go on to mediums or something. But I'm probably just gonna have to find who's at the front and I think it's just about to fix now. But <laughs> yeah, it's uh Callum to Rapid to Communist to Rondo to Blue Goggy. Uh, have the positions changed just there? Um, so the Callum, so uh, most people are saying the same. Black Draw going up two, um, Utah going up three, Squid Junior going up four, 
Uh, Bobby going up six, so pretty good start from these guys. But Beans up five, same with MK Boy, so a uh, pretty good start from uh, some of the heart, um, for like the likes of Bobby, Squid, Utah Elephant. Uh, especially Utah Elephant, who is theoretically on the better strategy uh, with the mediums, but obviously most people will probably be going soft to hearts. But some people might offer a two stuff, maybe think that means good enough. Um, we'll have to see, as um, at the back there's a battle between Ties and Bobby the Human side by side, as don't want to go side by side today, but they make it work, Ties is ahead. Maybe that's an illegal overtake, I don't know, I don't think it is, but um, here's K-Boy on Luke, on those medi it's mediums versus hards, obviously the mediums are going to be stronger at this point, as Evan K-Boy's ahead of the yellow flag, I believe that's Arthur. Um, in sector two, sector three, whatever. Um, but yeah, the f um, not really much going on right now. But interesting start. Um, obviously, a few people spinning. Um, some pretty good starts and already some battles going on. People starting to be aggressive. Um, so yeah, these first couple of laps really shape things up for sure. Yeah, and, um, yeah, uh, these laps have been, you know, the start is, yeah, it's just that phase where, you know, you, you just gotta get settled in, and, you know, you gotta, you gotta just, you know, go with the flow in a way, and just, um, and try to, you know, see what everybody else does, um, as, uh, trying to get Broken Reptile back in here, but, uh, that, but, um, if you see Emma Cable getting a huge squabble now, off that turnaround in Sector 3, um, uh, and yeah, uh, grip levels of the soft tires um, are slowly degrading as we speak, as uh, Ties runs very wide, and we see around the back, Rappa Luke is now going around the outside of Jason Luke. Jason Luke is going to try to get the switch back. They're going to go side by side into the final corner. Versus Hardy, Rappa Luke is, I think he's going to get the move done. He does get the move done. Luke moves down into P16. And, but he's going to he's gonna fight back here, though. He he has he has the overtake, he has the DR, I he has the DRS as well. They're going to go side by side. In sector one is Raptor sits about to stop. They are still side by side now into I believe this turn two. They're, and Rapid Luke is gonna get the move done though. As um Arthur and Broken Reptile, Broken Reptile still trying to get back in. Um unfortunate for him. But um, you know, we're still seeing some of the soft runners, you know, still trying to pull away here from the medium runners. As there's another battle here now, it's the same battle going on. Luke and Rapid Luke is now again going side by side, again trading positions. And I know this is far back in the race, but, you know, this could be crucial as Arthur picks up a time penalty already. And, you know, his race is, like, on his way. You know, maybe it's the commentator's curse or something. But, you know, I picked him as a favorite, and, you know, he's not really living up to a favorite status. So, um, there's still a long race. There's still, you know, 24 laps to go here. Um, you know, there's still time on the alternative strategy and the mediums, but he will have to do a two-stop in those mediums. As we now see, um... As we now see a, a challenge at the front here, Blue Doggy overtakes Communist, and as we also see Rundle getting past Rapid Extreme now into the hairpin. So lots of overtaking opportunities now. And, but Rapid Extreme, I think, is going to hold it here. And he will hold it. They're still side by side. And Callum actually pits from the lead. So I'm not sure what Callum is doing here. He's going he's gonna, to go for a two stop here. I'm not sure, but he pits as Ty picks up a time penalty. And we still see. You know, and we, now we see Rundle taking over the race lead here over Rapid Extreme. And that's an interesting strategy from Callum. I'm, I'm not sure what he will do, but that's interesting, man. That's very interesting. Yeah, that is a very, very bold call going on to the mediums. It's definitely a two-stop. There's no way those mediums are going to do a one-stop, obviously. But, um, yeah, Rundle inheriting the race lead. He's definitely going to, I'd say him, Rapid, Communist, those guys are going to do a one-stop, but Callum might have screwed his strategy going for the uh, two-stop um, unless a safety car comes out and then he does um, actually go on the right side to the softs in the end, then challenge at the front, you never know, but um, there's like a massive train forming. Uh, between these guys, um, between Squid, Bobby, Tice, and MNK Boy. Uh, 
massive DRS chain as Riles is lagging um, a little bit, but uh, yeah, DRS chains are probably gonna be pretty common, just like barring Pokemon Reptiles during that session. As, um, yeah, it's all about um, just being patient with your moves, as, uh, yeah, this is this trade is starting to uh, become bigger, as now Beans is gonna start. Uh, joining the fray in that train, but um, Utalofit now is gaining a little bit on Black Draw. Uh, he's the highest medium runner at this point, um, Black Draw. So Utalofit, if he wants to be the quickest, the highest up on the mediums, and to have that clean air when everyone goes on the hards, um, he's gonna need he's gonna need to get past Black Draw first and defend from Black Draw. And Black Draw isn't a slow driver, as I think uh, Squid Junior has got past GSR Riles. On those hards, so Squid Junior definitely feeling very strong on those hards. This is probably around the point where the soft is starting to go off now. Um, as Ross has to concede the position. Yeah, we see a huge train forming in the middle here. Oh, and there goes by the human. He goes wide. He tried to get past Riles. He went wide, and that's gonna. I'm mean, gonna go through. And there's a little bit of contact between them. Well, Bobby the human goes way wide, and he has lost so many positions there. And now Luke. Is on the back of him as Beans picks up a time penalty. Probably the human there. Uh, I'm not sure what happened to him there, but he he got super loose or something like that. And you know he made a lot of contact between some of the drivers there. And you know he's fallen back a lot of positions here. Um, we see we see now Utah Elephant and Black Rob. This is for the net race lead. This is for the this is for P1. After the software breaker pits up, Utah Elephant gets past. But will Black Rob challenge? He's trying to go around the outside, but he can't. But he's gonna go for the switchback. But I don't think he's gonna have the the traction past Utah Elephant. Utah Elephant is now taking the net race lead as some of the front runners are picking. We have Rapid Extreme coming in. Uh, uh, Communist, Blue Doggy, the soft runners are starting to pit as the softs are really dying down here. And Rundle decides to stay out on the soft. So he, he's trying to get those fresher mediums possibly Rapid's for the one mediums. stop. Single, and people uh, are Communist doing two stops. Hard. Blue Doggy has gone hard. Same with uh, Juicer Riles and Rap Lucas. Double stacks with Riles. That is a very, very poor call. He's definitely going on the hards. But that was a very poor call doing the, du doing the double stack with Riles. It's going to screw him over big time now. But yeah, some people opting for um, for hards early, which is doable, but you need the tire save for sure. And I think these guys do have the skills to uh, save a few percent of the tires. As I think Bobby the Human has gone past beans. Um, there, but now Rondel is currently in the lead. Um, now, are the, these guys coming out in traffic? I don't think they have, but soon enough they're gonna be caught in that massive train um, that separates Bobby, Bobby and K Squid, uh, Beans, Pies. They're, they're gonna be stuck in that train. And that's going to give you Talos and a huge advantage um, in the long run for this race. So he's just going to have to push once uh, Rondel does come in as he does come in now. Yep. Oh, sorry about that. Um, but yeah, basically this means that um, Rundle, in that, uh, no, I'm sorry, not Rundle, um, Talos and I should take some of the race lead over Black Draw, and you can see the gap is already about 1.8 between Utah Elf and Black Draw, so uh, Utah Elf really pushing here. As now we see the likes of Callum, who pit for mediums early. He's up into P9 right now, but you gotta remember, he still has to do another stop, so I'm, inter I'm interested to see if he's actually ruined his race here. I'm not sure if he has or not, but he still has to do another stop. And, you know, we see Hissy now, and the Ferrari pitting for hearts. He comes out of the pits ahead of the two Red Bulls. And ahead of Arthur, ahead of Broken Reptile, so um, a lot of people going for the, trying to go for that soft to hard, but it's going to be hard to do because you know your the hard tires are going to be so like, they're going to be degraded toward the end of the race, um, as even puncture territory we could even say here. But right now, you know, we see uh, Rundle uh, currently the lead hard runner. Uh, who has pitted, Art Callum still needs to make another stop, so technically right now, Rundle's in the net race lead here, um, on the hard tires, so, as this race goes on, as we see the medium runners pit within the next, I'd say, five to six laps, um, we're gonna see a, uh, 
whole shakeup in the field here. So this is this is going to be uh, a really big strategy test for these drivers. Yeah, oh. absolutely. And obviously, there's like a um, ties and we I believe are coming together. Um, there's one thing that could also shape up this race: a safety car. If a safety car comes out around this time, Utah is going to be definitely in, be in the best position. If he'll go onto the hards and easily make it to the end at this point, because the hards can definitely go 19 laps, as I believe Raptors has gone into the pits. Yes, he has. He's gone really long in those softs. He's definitely going to go on the hards for sure. Um, yep, yeah, that is hards coming onto that Renault. But, um, yeah, um, I mean, K-Boy blocked for all you to And if a safety car comes out, and uh, maybe even Squid Jr., uh, these guys will be in a very good position, and then Callum might be in an okay position as well. Um, going on the hards with those guys, but um, anything could happen, obviously. Um, like, there's a lot of factors that could affect that could make anyone make uh, win the race. Um, also, there's another problem is. <laughs> For, especially for Callum, he's now joined that train of Ties, Beans, and Luke. And then he's gonna have to get past this. He actually gets past Ties. Ties makes a huge mistake. Is uh, Callum gonna have DRS here? I believe he won't. No, yes, he does. So, as Luke now on Beans uh, goes to the inside line, uh, gets that done pretty easily. Um, I believe Lee Goggy is trying to gain on Communist as he's going to try and go for the move down. This is for 12th pace, but this is actually a pretty high position for the end of the race. This is pretty much for P2 at this point. Um, down the inside goes Blue Goggy as he gets the move done. But will um, Communist come back at Adam, especially on the straight here? Uh, he will have DRS. Overtake engaged. Rich mix. And he will. Uh, Communist moves up to P12. Now Callum, down the, is he going to try to go down the inside of Beans? He's going to put him offline. He's not going to get the traction out of the corner. Yeah, and um, as I was saying uh, just a few seconds ago, um, Communist right now is about net P2 because, you know, well, t you could say uh, he's net P2, but he's also net P3. But Callum, you know, he needs to nav he's trying to navigate this train here, but Reminder, he needs to pit again. So right now, this is a yeah, it's a it's a McLaren one three right now as Rundle, um, currently in the race lead as uh, Callum actually now gets past Beans. Beans makes a massive mistake, and that's going to allow Callum to get past. But will Beans have something to say as uh, M and K Boy gets past Black Throw at the front? That's going to help M and K Boy's chances of getting a high position. But we see uh, Beans and Callum. Beans will not be close enough to get past Callum here. And I think that's Calum up to P7. And you know, if you're Calum at this situation in the race, you know, you just be you just be pushing as Black's Raw actually pits off the mediums quite early there. So he's pitting lap 11 for the hard tires. And the hards will make it, but that's a little bit of an early stop for him. Um, oh, he's wing damage. He's fixing yeah, his front wing. Oh. Something must have happened. He might have made contact with somebody. But, you know, we see in the final sector here, Hissy and GSR Riles as, yeah, as... Yeah, we see Black Rock hit, but here comes Riles and Hissy. Will Hissy try to go for a move here? It's a turn one. It's going to be close. He's going to put a nose in. He's not going to put a nose in. He actually does, but Riles just too far ahead from Hissy. Hissy can't get past, and Riles states P13 here. I'm coming up to the front, though. Callum, P6. You know, he's chasing after Luke, and there's a little bit of a train forming with the Mercedes of Switch Jr. and the Renault of Bobby the Human. This is a little bit of a train forming here, and you know, Squid Jr. and Luke have the tire advantage right now, believe it or not, because their hearts are going to be less worn than the 10 up old mediums. So, Callum, right now, he needs to navigate around this. Um, he's on 5 up old mediums, and if he wants to make this two stop work, he needs to get past these guys. As Ty's picks up a time penalty as well, um, and Ty's, I think, has been falling back a little bit um, as we've seen the race. As now, a little bit further back, though, Hissy and Ryle side by side. In, into that little turnaround section, and Hissy is going to get the move done on Riles, and that's going to be huge for Hissy's race, but 
do who got the DRS here? I'm not sure who got the DRS here, and it might have been... Yeah, it was Riles. Riles. Riles has the DRS. Will it be close enough here? Beans takes out time LT, but that's not what we're focusing on here. We're focusing on the battle between Riles and Hissy. Here comes Riles now around the outside. He needs to get this move done back on Hissy. They're, they're still side by side into the hairpin, and they will be side by side up here. But I think Hissy was going to concede the position here. He will concede the position. He might try to go for the switchback. He's going to have the DRS. He has the overtake. Actually, he's not going to... Yeah, he's using all of his overtake here and DRS. He's going to get past the turn one. And these two have been battling really hard these past few laps. Yeah, obviously these are for actual positions because they're both on that one stop. On those stops are hard strategy, so... M2 battling is fair enough. It's fair game. Um, I mean, all battling is fair game, but... For places in the championship, this is definitely going to be crucial for these guys. They want to uh, get as high as they can. As, as Riles goes around the outside, is he going to try and get the move done? No, he's not. Hissy stays ahead. As at the front, Cal um, Callum has gone past Luke. Um, but he's going to have to get past Squid Jr. and Bobby the Human in order to keep that gap to uh, Rundles. Rundles now caught up to this train now. And that will be crucial for um, Rundle. As he is um, trying to get past Ties, as Ties does have the DRS, but um, he's not really going to defend this. He's going to let Rundle through. He's going to go down the inside into the hairpin. Does kind of fight back, but he heavily locks up, and that's going to invite Rundle down the inside. As now there's a battle at the front. Bobby the Human and Squid Jr. side by side. As Bobby the Human gets a better run, but, but um, as it actually is contact, and Squid Jr. is in the wall! It looked like Squid Jr. just turned into Bobby the Human, and that's a virtual safety car. Oh my goodness, that is just, that could have changed the race if a safety car come out. But Squid Jr. is out of the race. Wow. And, that, and, that, and that's going to heavily benefit Beans and Ties, who actually pit under the virtual safety car. That's going to benefit them a lot. But looking back at that incident, um, it looks like Callum was trying to make it three wide there, and just um like you said uh squid jr he just turned and i think he turned into callum's front right tire and that sent him into into bobby the human and that ultimately sent him into the wall so unfortunately for squid jr there you know he was running a very good race as arthur now picked the back but reps up the back but black on the lucas picking up a drive-through penalty you know his race is already p16 he's already p16 right now but you know if he wanted any chance at points this is this isn't going to help him at all but, you know, we see Callum now around the back of Bobby the Human here. And Bobby the Human runs very, very wide. This is going to allow Callum to try to overtake him here. But I think it's going to be relatively easy. It will be relatively easy. And But Bobby the Human squishing him out onto the grass here. But, you know, it ultimately it will be an easy move for Callum. Yeah, Callum needs to be careful because you just saw that um, Squid Jr. got taken out with the dead two on side by side. But he gets the move done. He's out with the P3. He now just needs to get that gap ahead of these guys and ahead of Rundle as Rundle is trying to catch up to Luke and Bobby's. Bobby does come into the pits. As for his fault for the squid incident, I think they just had it coming together and squid at the worst of it. I don't think that's Bobby the Human's fault. I think that's a racing incident, if anything, because I mean, it looked like Bobby's going straight, but we'll have a look after the race. Um, as we have uh, a bit of a train forming, I think um, it's Ty's trying to get past Beans as Bobby Human comes out of the pits while um, these two are trying to fight. They'll invite Ty's to go down the inside of Beans as there's a bit of contact. Uh, Ty's keeps it on the circuit though, as now he's going to try and get the better exit and he doesn't as Beans does stay ahead. As now, um, yeah. Callum is now going to have to try and uh, pull that gap from Luke and also um, Rundle, but this might be around the time when the um, media maybe start to um, worn out a little bit, not the point where it's going to get insanely bad, but as Callum actually tanks up a little bit out of the exit, um, he's going to lose a little bit of time from that, but the RS might help um, Luke stay ahead of um, Rundle, and once he goes out to the softs, he will be uh, in a better position than some people. As um, there's now a big train forming between um, 
Because his, uh, Rapa Lucas has gone off. I think that's just pretty much his race over. He has a drive through and he's gone off, so... I'm not to him, but... As now, the Afatari of Beans, um, actually gets passed by Ties. But is Beans gonna try and go... And get this move that these two have been battling quite hard the past couple of laps. Beans will have the DRS, um, on, on the front straight, but he gets a pretty poor exit. Oh, I mean, I will say have a timing, but here comes Black Draw around the outside of Hissy. Um, pretty nice move, but now he make, but Hissy makes a mistake, and now I'll invite Bobby the Human to get the move done, and he gets it done very, very nicely. Nice advantage taking from from Hissy from Bobby the Human. So, saw the gap, went for it, and paid off. And that's him up in the P11. Arthur picks up a 3 second prime penalty, but yeah, um, pretty interesting developments heading into the end of this, uh, in, heading into the near end of this race. Um, now when is Khan going to pick? He's probably going to try and do a medium, soft, medium, soft, which isn't an invalid strategy, but with the way Rundle is, who's, um, who's pretty damn cl um, close to Luke. And Callum is only just ahead of um, Luke at this point. He's gonna have to pit soon enough and try and push and gain some of the time he's gonna lose from the pit stop. But this is gonna really help Rondel, and Rondel is only a second off Luke, and he's gonna get DRS off Luke. He's gonna get all the, all uh, the power in the straight, and um, I believe some of the hardware. And I see we're near the front. We're now gonna be affected by um. Gonna be affected by the fact that he's a massive trade for me. Um, people like you tell if it, uh, in a good position as well. Um, P7 for him with Blue Goggy and Communist battling for um, for a net. What is that? P2? Yeah, it's net P2. His Rapid, Callum, and Luke will have to pit again. So it's definitely a net P2 as. Um, Utah will be invited to the fight because he's on those fresher hearts. Utah could be on for a podium potentially if he keeps up the good pace he's been showing. One of my favorites for the race, of course. Um, and now there's you now probably gonna be a fight for um, for P2 um, on tr uh, right now as um, Luke is making a few mistakes here. Um, I believe Luke, Luke is still in DRS. He's a second behind. He's definitely in DRS. Of Callum, but and Rundle is a bit too far to go for him yet. But at behind, we have um, New Telephone now, right on the back of Blue Goggy. He's getting a lot of time um, very quickly. Is he going to try and go for the move into the hairpin now, or is he going to wait until for the front straight? I think he's going to wait until the front straight. As he actually tries to go down the inside of Blue Goggy, he's going to get the better exit because the fresher tires. But Blue and he gets the better exit, and I think he might be ahead. Or Blue Guy, you might try to fight this back. No, he doesn't. Luke, Utah Elephant is up into P6 as Luke comes into the pits for a set of mediums. Yeah, Luke, Luke's pit there. Um, you know, onto the mediums. The mediums will comfortably uh, go to the end of the race here, but that puts him P12 behind the likes of Hissy. And right now, I'm. Um, see that Utah Elephant um, might get the win here, but it will all depend on this front two, on, on it will all depend on Rundle here, because right now, Callum isn't making it to the end on the medium, so he, he will have to pit again, and Rundle, he might, he might get the race win here, you know, I was talking about it, you know, pre-race. He might, he might get his redemption here, but this is, you know, Bahrain all over again, uh, with him versus Callum. But, you know, his McLaren teammate, Communist, P4 at the moment, you know, he's on 9 lap old hearts. But, you know, you, but we have the likes of Utah Elephant and MNK Boy entering this train of cars. So, and, and let's not forget, Utah Elephant and MNK Boy, they are on fresh hearts here. But here comes MNK Boy, using all of his overtake, he has... He's gonna from the pit stop. He's gonna go past Blue Guy, but there's also a, a thing for the lead here. Actually, no, that's Callum pitting 
just, uh, just and out Utah of Utah down the inside of Communist. Oh. Sorry to butt in there, but Co um, Utah is now ahead of Communist. I think MNK Boy might be invited to this. No, he's not. A Utah Elephant is up into P4, but that will be P3 once um, Callum makes his pit stop onto another set of mediums. Yeah, um, it's Callum Pitts, and where is he? Where is he gonna come out here? He's gonna. He, I think he might come out behind Bobby, Bobby the Human. He will become behind Bobby the Human, and Luke has actually, I think, undercut him. Luke is now ahead of Callum. Uh, I'm not sure if he was ahead before the pit stop, but but now Callum has all the work to do here with 11 laps to go. And if we look at the front here, Rundle is going to be leading the race currently. And after what happened at Bahrain, he has to be in a great mood right now after this. But we, we will have to see what happens here, as because I think Rapid Extreme may have to pit. I'm not too sure. But Utah Elephant and MNK Boy need to charge through Communist here, because Utah Elephant, I think he's guaranteed a podium right now if he can get past Communist. But... You know, we will have to see how that goes, but um, he has the tire advantage over Communists. Like I said, Communists on 10 lap old hards, you can tell on two, on 3 lap old hards, I should say. But he has MNK Boy right behind him. So, will MNK Boy go for a move here? We'll have to see, but MNK Boy trying to be aggressive with the overtake. He's using a lot of his overtake, actually. And he's going to try to get in the slipstream here. You tell open also in the slipstream of Communist. Could this wide. could be three wide here. This could be three wide, but no. Evan Cable decides to back out. You tell Elf it goes down the inside of Communist. Almost contact be between the maid. You tell Elf it moves up into P3. Evan Cable has to settle for P5 at the moment. But what will happen here to turn one? Evan Cable not getting the greatest exit, but Communist with the DRS. I think he's going to go for the move here to turn one. He is going to go for the move here and to turn one. By side on turn one. Utah Elephant has to back out of it, but he's going to get the move. He's going to try to go back down the inside, and I think he's going to get the move done here. He will get the move done. Contact between between them, and Communist still has the inside line, but Utah Elephant, I think, is going to get the move done here. He does get the move done, and that is him up to P3. And that's going to be an FP2. Also, I want to give a big shout-out to MNK Boy, who could be in a fight for a podium. He started last. I'm pretty sure, yeah, he started last in this race. I made an incredible comeback here. Um, he's now going to be closing in on Communist. Um, also, by the way, once Rapid Extreme pits, Rundle will be um, leading the race by 17 seconds. A very, very big margin for the lead. Uh, I think one of the largest in Aero history. Uh, if the race ends like this, unless it's a late race safety car, which uh, I kind of want to jinx that it does happen, because I want to see an exciting finish for the end. Now here comes MNK Boy, he's going to use all of his overtake to try and get past Communist. This, he has better, better straight line speed. Down the inside, it's the move done. And Communist isn't going to fight back. As behind that, we have Black Draw trying to go for a move on Riles, can't really do that yet. Uh, there's a big train forming uh, because of all this battle between M and K Boy, Communist, Blue Goggy, Riles, Black Raw, Luke, Callum. These guys are all fighting for that P3. Um, and Riles and Black Raw are going at it um, in the middle of this little train here. Or, uh, what did I say, big train. Um, Riles is ahead, but now Riles is going to try and go for a move on. Lugagi, he can't really go for it yet. Or is he going to go for it now since he has overtaken Gage? He's going to try and go down the inside. No, he's not as Luke gets past Callum. As Callum and Luke are side by side, actually. Out of the exit. And oh. above the human's got off. But I can't really focus on that as Callum's gone out, gone ahead of Luke. And now Black Dragon and Riles are going at it. Um, this is a load happening in this train. As now Callum's trying to get past Black Draw, he tries to sneak it down the inside, but he's going to try and go down the inside for the next corner. He's going to down the inside, and uh, he's going to get his new dog, and um, yeah, that's him up into P8. And now Riles um, on Blue Goggy, and Callum, Callum could get, probably get two cars at once if he's aggressive enough. It saves the DRS a little bit, and he has DRS, he has the uh, subscription. Um, is, I think Bobby Hoopman's gone around again, but Black Draw is a you know, Luke is ahead of Black Draw. As now there's a three-way battle. Callum's up 
Rollins made a huge mistake. Rollins is up and down into P8. Now Callum's gone past Blue Goggy. He's gone really, really wide. He's picking up a penalty. That could be huge. Um, Very huge for indeed. Callum's race. As now Riles is up into P7, he's gone past Blue Goggy as well. As now Luke's kind of going on the inside of Blue Goggy. Blue Goggy's losing a load of positions now. He's going to go around the outside. He's got the move done. No, he's, Blue Goggy's still there. But they're still going to be side by side heading up into the end of Sector 1. Transitioning into Sector 2, Luke is ahead. And now another car is going after Blue Goggy. That's now going to be blocked raw as Hissy and Beans and Ties are battling as well with the penalty guys. Um, as Communist has gone off and he's out oh. of the race! Could this be a safety car? It, 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 it's oh, a virtual it's safety a car. Oh, oh my and, god. That's, that's going to have fun McLaren in the championship. And Rundle must have been scared there that there was a safety car. Oh my goodness, dude. That that is it, that's what if there was a safety car there that could have completely changed the race, and Rundle, you know, he he might he might, yeah, dude, if Rundle is lucky there, that that is a VSC, because, cause, yeah, if there was a full safety car, things could be changed. But now on the restart though, M and K boy and Ryle's not going side by side into the airpin. They're gonna go. They're still gonna go side by side. A little bit of contact between them. M and K boy locks up a little bit. They make a little bit more contact there as uh, he's going to pick up the position here. But here comes Luke now around the outside. Uh, Red K-Boy not playing, not playing nice there. Trying to keep his position from Luke um, and try to hold on to P6 here. But uh, there's another yellow Robin spot there. Around. And, that's, and that's somebody around. I'm not sure who that is. It's, uh, that's Rapid Extreme. Yeah, and that is Rapid Extreme. Running P2 in this race. Rapid Extreme has spawned, and now here comes Utah Elephant, he's gonna rejoin right into Utah Elephant, but he's gonna let him through there. And Rapid Extreme... Oh dearie me, he has... He has just ruined his race there, and that has allowed Utah Elephant to come into P2, and now I get, I, now I think you can say that R Rundle has won this race, unless it's a safety car. As uh, Rapid Extreme spins out again, and he loses so many positions, he's down to P9, and Rapid Extreme... He he had he had a really good result here, and it's gone to shreds there. And now Rundle can comfortably have a 16-second gap over Utah Elephant, and Utah Elephant, I think he's gonna be getting P2 here, but unless Callum has something to say about it. Callum in the DRS zone, he's not gonna use any of his overtake here, and he's gaining very he's gaining very heavily on Utah Elephant, but he's. Not going to be anywhere near close enough to go for that dive bomb. A reminder, Callum on the fresher tires, but he does have that three second time penalty as uh, Ties gets past B to the straight. Will he go for a double overtake here? He's going to go down the inside of Rapid Extreme with the dive bomb, and they're going to make a little bit of contact there. Contact has been made. B, I think, makes a little bit of contact as well. And Rapid Extreme going to pull out of the pull out of it. And Rapid Extreme has lost so many vision a lot, but he's actually going to pit. I think probably for the soft tires, I, I would assume, but. He has lost 10, he's lost about 9, 10 positions on that lap alone. So things are really starting to get interesting here. Um, as Ty's trying to get his revenge on Beans here. Trying to go around the inside. As Hissy gets a little bit loose in Sector 1. And he, he, he did a little bit of a half spin there. Lucky not to fully crash out there. And yes, Rapid Extreme does pay for the soft tires down in P14. He's probably going to go for the fastest lap. A bit of a shame. He's running really well. But now here comes the battle for P2. And there's also going to be a battle for P7 between Black Draw and Blue Goggy. We saw Black Draw just over take Blue Goggy uh, into turn 1 earlier when um, we were talking about Rapid Extreme. But. Um, yeah. Um, here comes Callum on Utah Elephant. This is going to be for P2 in the race. Obviously, Callum has that penalty, so he's gonna have to pull the gap once he gets past. This is gonna be a crucial move for Callum, especially in the championship because Rundle did finish uh, P2. So, these two, I believe, are gonna be tied on points in the championship um, if Callum is able to pull that three second gap. But Utah, he, we've seen in the past, he's been waiting so long for a podium. He actually hasn't, I don't think he's scored a podium yet. There, right. 
in ARL, so he, want, he wants this very, very badly, and I can't blame him. Um, it's taken him so long to get one, as I believe that's Black Raw in the pits. Um, going on the soft. I think he's just... He might have gotten damage um, already. Yes, he has. He got more damage from... Uh, maybe contact with, uh, with Blue Gun. Um... Now a bit of a train for me as Luke and anyone in the back of M and K boy. Um, as we get between Utah and um, Callum, it's bigger and bigger and bigger. Callum is definitely on the better ties right now. Utah wants to stay in that DRS, but I don't think it's gonna happen. As there's a sp there's a car got off it. I think that's ties. Yes, it is ties. He's got around at the exit of uh, the start of sector two. Uh, Bobby, that's gonna allow Bobby Human to go through up into P11. Um, and then, yeah, Callum's pull out of that gap. He's actually pulling a big gap to uh, Utah Orphan. Um, and Utah Orphan is probably just looking to bring the car home into a uh, still a really good third place, sitting where he started. And here comes MK Boy on GSR Riles. He's gonna go around the outside, gets the move on, but his mom's gonna fight back. No, he's not. Uh, and then came point up into P4. Yeah, and will we see GSR Ross try to fight back? And reminder, GSR Luke is into the mix as well in this situation. He is right behind Riles here. And Riles is a very poor exit out of the final corner. And Evan K will hold on to P4, like you said, but um you know, I'm Black to Raw, Rapid Extreme, you know, they're both running well and now they they're competing for fastest lap against each other, so just shows how much races can turn. But we saw earlier that that last lap, we saw Ties spin out. He sounds P12. You know, and this could have been yet again another you know very good result for Williams. Um, you know, like it would have been in Bahrain. Um, but you know, there's still Luke in P6 for for the Williams team. You know, he he's gonna need to you know try to get past Riles here in these final few laps. But we see that the gap between Rundle and Callum is slowly shrinking lap after lap, but gotta remind, you gotta, rem gotta remind everybody that Callum is on ver way more fresher tires than what Rundle is on, so he will be gaining fast, but I don't think it's gonna be enough, and with four laps to go, uh, uh, about three laps to go, I should say, um, I think Rundle has this in the bag here, because, you know, there, there's gonna be a point where there's gonna be no more safety cars that will happen, and Rundle might have this after last week at Bahrain, and you know, I feel like he would really want that, but now, uh, turning attention from that, we have GSR and Luke now on Riles, Luke needs to get this move done on the medium tires, and here comes Luke now, going down, going down the inside, Riles gonna continue to fight back on the outside, Luke using his overtake, I think they're still side by side, they are still side by side, Riles is gonna back out, and Luke runs a little bit wide off, off the last corner, and that's gonna allow GSR Riles to get back whatsoever, Luke, and, and that and that is not gonna help him a lot. And now Riles gonna go down the inside of Luke. Luke. Luke is gonna have the inside line for the next corner, making a little bit of contact as well in the process. Luke gonna get the move done, but now here comes Riles now. Riles with the monstrous exit at that there. And Riles actually picks up a time pen from that as well. So now they are both on even playing field. And and this is a battle and this is just I'm not I'm surprised Riles got a pen like that, but Riles keeps his position and this is going to be a battle with we'll continue to see these last few laps. Yeah, I'm, I will apologize. There's a little bit of lag in the stream. Uh, I don't know, my internet decided to start committing the big die. But um, uh, Luke now trying to um, count to the back of Riles. Luke really struggling to get past Riles, considering Riles is on 18 lap old hearts. Now here comes. And here comes um, Luke on Riles. Gap is three tenths. Is really low. Yeah, both on really low ERS. But Luke will have the strips substitute. He will have the DRS. He will have the. Uh, he doesn't use his overtake. He's on very very low conditions. You want to use every ounce of that overtake when you're on low ERS. But he's gonna go around the outside. But um, Riles is the better exit. And here comes. Uh, he's gonna try and go into move on the straight. Luke has a better better exit. And now he's gonna go for a move around the outside. Heading into turn one, uh, Bobby Human gets past ties as we see uh, as oh they almost make contact, but Luke is ahead. But now Riles is going to try and go back down the inside. He's got a pretty poor run. Luke does. 
as now Luke is going to go up down the inside and now they're side by side once again. Riles down the inside. And he is ahead still of Luke. You see everyone really fighting hard and fair play to Riles for defending so hard keeping his position because this could be vital in the championship. Every point counts because this is a very close this is a very close field, although it, it ha that hasn't really been shown today. It's been all, it's been all Rundle for sure. Yeah, and and Rundle is um, is just about just about one lap away from claiming the victory that you know he thinks he should have had at Bahrain, and you know quite frankly he should have had that victory in Bahrain. But you know it's looking very likely he will get his redemption here. Final lap of the race. Lap 28, and this is where it all, this is where it all comes down to. Luke, this battle between Luke and Riles, will this continue the final lap? Th that is going to be such a key position, and like you said, every point in the championship matters. Um, MNK boy as well in the DRS of Utah Elephant. Um, this, this is going to be for a podium spot. Let me remind you, this is for a podium in this race. The last podium spot relies between this battle between Utah Elephant and MNK boy. So many crucial battles happening in the front there will be no more safety cars and as Rundle is now going through the middle S section he's looking likely to win this race as there's a, there's a collision at the back and that is a Williams off and that's ties into the barrier and it just it's like it could get any worse for him ties is off rapid extreme gets passed and he might have wing damage from that uh, yeah he, he doesn't think he, he, I don't think he does actually yeah he doesn't have any wing damage but uh, ties just down now down in P14 you know his race has gone from good to bad in just these last few laps but um, coming around the final straightaway Rondo he's, he's weaving. weaving on the back straight <laughs> he's weaving you can he tell knows he's got this yeah he, he, you can tell he knows that he's got this coming around the hairpin he knows that he's going look at he's taking it nice and slowly here trying not to bend the car here comes Rundle now Around the final corner. Across the final corner. What will we do here? Is he going to go for a little bit? Weezy? He does weave. And yes, he's going to he try to slow down, down here. He and Rundle crosses the line to win the Chinese Grand Prix. Three. <laughs> we both said at the same time. <laughs> As uh, Callum now is going to come home to finish second. A great result for him, even with that three second. But Utah Elephant takes his first podium in Alpha Racing League. As MK Boy, another, another great driver uh, from him. P4 to P, from P20 to P4, almost taking a podium. Great result from him as well. Blue comes home fifth, Ral sixth, Blue Goggy seventh, Beans comes home P8 for Alfa Romeo. As Hesse actually takes P8 and P9, Hesse and, Rap and Raptor takes P9 after his poor start. Black Draw comes home eleventh, Bobby Human twelfth after his poor end to the race. Raptor Extreme picks up a penalty as he finishes thirteenth. With Ty's 14th, Rap Lucas 15, Broken Reptile 16, with Arthur unfortunately finishing last. Wow. Yeah, and the uh, commentator's curse coming out on Arthur there, you know. <laughs> but not on you Utah know, Elephant. Yeah, you, you got you got to be happy for Utah as well as Rundle, who's the race. You know, m my two favorites finishing first and last. Um, kind of surprising see there but um yeah we'll hope get these drivers in to the party for podium interviews very shortly but what a race we saw there you know we saw Rundle take his win that you know he should have had in Bahrain and he's got it here we see Utah Elephant getting a podium something that he's been working so hard towards and now um and both drivers have got to be happy with this with this result here along with Callum getting second place after his win last week at Bahrain so I believe he will still be leading the championship Obviously, I think that pole point will um, come in handy for um, Callum. Yeah, I think he'll he still have that championship lead with that P2. Um, so, uh, Black Draw takes the fastest lap. So, it's going to be Rundle, Callum, Utah, for MK Boy, Lily, Hissy, Raptor, and Beans running out your top 10. Um, your DNFs today are Communist, Squid Junior, and Alicia. Alicia didn't even last a lap. 
uh, Squid Jr. crashed a contact with Bobby the Human and Communist spun off in Sector 2, which ended his race. And yeah, um, I'm going to start inviting these guys coming in for podium interviews here. And, you know, well, what a race that was, you know. That was very exciting to watch uh, from start to finish. And, we, you know, we ultimately saw a very, just a, a very great podium to see there. And uh, you got to be happy for all three drivers here as um, as everybody's now starting to join. Um, Polo, I guess you can start with podium interviews once everybody has joined. But, man, what a race we saw today for everybody. You know, so many last lap drama, or last few lap drama, just like we saw in Bahrain. And, you know, and, and this is what finished because of it. Yeah. Um, I might as well... I might as well start with the race winner. Um, an absolutely dominant, dominant performance from you, Rundle. Uh, how does it feel? Get, finally getting redemption from last week from Bahrain. Well, yeah, I did say in the interview last time that I was going to make the P2, P1. So I'm, I'm happy to have delivered on that. Um, I, you know, it, it feels a bit weird because I kind of won the race as soon as uh, Rapid and Callum committed to the two stop so for basically most of the race it was just kind of cruising bringing the car home and enjoying the uh, the clean air but yeah i really enjoyed that yeah um obviously uh you played the strategy absolutely perfectly when some others either opted for mediums and a two stop um um were you surprised when some when people like Callum uh, and Rapid went on to mediums? I, I don't know if you saw them on on those tires, but <laughs> yeah, those guys pitted for for uh, went on to the other strategy, which obviously the, uh, paid off for Callum, but didn't pay off for um, Rapid Extreme. Um, <laughs> do you feel like the race would have been closer if um, those guys chose the hards? My tires would have died. So no. Nah. Just won by 14 seconds, very fairly. <laughs> I think I see. I, I'll, I'll disagree with you, Callum. I think it would have been really close. Because there was nah, all three of us. So uh, you think? See, I've got my the wheel. I had pit so... on lap four. Oh, so yeah, yeah. Paris for a minute. Ah, but yeah, no, it was, a, it was a good race. Really enjoyed it. I would have loved to have had a few more battles, but behind me, it looked a lot closer. So, um, I think there was a train. Tom accidentally kind of crashed out, so you know, gutting for the team because they've had a, a great result. But strategically, yeah, brilliant race. Yeah, absolutely. Well, <laughs> come on, drive. okay, I, I can't, I can't do the uh, voice crack anymore, unfortunately. But um, <laughs> commanding drive from you today, um, Chili. Do you have any questions for Rundle? Um, not really, man. Um, it's just, just, uh, I'm happy, happy you got that redemption from last weekend. You know, it was, that was a crazy final lap last weekend, and you, you brought it home today. So, congrats on the win there. Great. Cheers, mate. Uh, moving on to uh, P2, which is Callum. Uh, Chill, you uh, interviewed him. Yeah, so, Callum, um, Obviously, still a really good race from you. Um, you know, P2 after the P1 last week, you know, you're still going to be, you know, leading the championship. Um, and, how, like, how, how does this feel to be on the podium again? And um, how do you think that race went for you? Uh, I, I didn't expect P2. It, I, yeah. So I'll take that, but, yeah. I don't know whether the guys would have made it to the end on a one stop. I had to pit on like that four, because the tires were like 55%, but that's just my bad tire management. But I take P2 and really do. <laughs> yeah. I take P2. yeah. And um, also, I saw um, I saw at the beginning of the race, you you pit really, really early for the medium tire. So, like, so were you planning on doing the two-stop, or, or, or did you get to that point where... You thought that you weren't doing the one stop at all I costs. I had the plan to 
go one stop, but then tyres just died, and I thought I'd go to the mediums. And the mediums were great, so I stayed on them for a second stop. And it worked. Happy days. Yeah, it did work for you, um, getting that P2. You know, obviously nothing you could do about Rundle there. Rundle just had, you know, a yeah, little, little bit of a better strategy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> built different. Yeah, he's just built different <laughs> in that sense. But, um... But yeah, Polo, do you have any other questions for Callum? Um... What... what I mean, it, you kind of answer this, but was the, um... Was the choice on to mediums intentional, or do you think uh, that you not particularly? The idea was to initially go hard to the end, but yeah, tires were saying no, and so I just sent it onto mediums. <coughs> Fair enough. Um, yeah, congratulations on P two. You still draw really well despite the two stop. But um, yeah, I guess we'll move on to P three. Uh, you tall elephant. Finally, after. A long, long time in the league, you finally achieved your first podium. How does it feel for you to finally pull that off? It feels good. Um, it was an intense race. Because I had MNK Boy chase me down the whole time, but on that point I got Lime Green damage from Squid, I think. Live on me, so then I was kind of like struggling the whole race. And just, we were just, just staring everywhere. So to be able to get P3. And it was quite good. I had FH and Thrasher in my party. We all, we, all, we, all, we were just like we can't jinx this. So we're like we didn't know we, we didn't know what the top three was and all that stuff. So then we just stay in. I was trying to push as hard as I could, try and get to podium. And then I had a fight with MK Boy the whole race. But then I came out on top. Yeah, I, I actually did predict you as a, as a favorite. Um, I was told. As like a yes, uh, I. I thought I was gonna curse you, um, but uh, it turns out I didn't. You actually you did pulled off a very good, a very good. I had a broken wing. That counts. You had a broken wing. <laughs> yeah. Wait, I why did you have the broken wing? The Wait, I yeah. had a lime green wing the whole race. That, that makes one. the podium even more. That makes the podium even more Wait. impressive. Wow, lime green damage, and you still got yes. a podium. Wow, you must have had incredible pace yeah. on those, on those hards. That's that's. I have more mediums. More than mediums, I reckon. Yeah, still did pretty well. Um, I mean, heading into um, I don't even know what the tr I'm I'm so slow on the head, Adam, and I should be knowing what the track is next week, but I don't. Japan. <laughs> Japan. It's Japan. Yeah, Japan. Uh, how do you feel at the uh, the Japanese track, the Suzuka Circuit? I'm gonna. Yeah, we are. <laughs> I mean, you're a pad player, so um, obviously exactly. we're, all the pad players are gonna die. So, um, yes. Yeah, so, <laughs> um, congratulations. Uh, you did very, Please. very well uh, for your first podium. Chili, do you have any more questions for Utah? Uh, I don't. Congrats on the podium, man. Cheers. Well, Chili, um, final thoughts on that race. That was a pretty. In the front, it, was, it wasn't like that interesting, especially for the league, considering Rundle completely dominated. But in the midfield, there was a load of really, really good battles. It shows that like you don't have to have battles at the front to have a good race. There was definitely many battles in the midfield. There was definitely um, a few talking points, like the contact between Bobby the Human and, and uh, Squid Jr. ending his race. Um, pretty intense race. Uh, in the midfield and, and like the upper midfield. Final thoughts on the race, Chile? Um, yeah, was, uh, the midfield was definitely the star of uh, of the race there. So many battles going on, um, so many close, um, you know, almost safety cars, you know. Uh, we saw at the final few laps there, you know, the, the VSC, almost a safety car. Um, that could have completely screwed up Rundle there, but um, yeah, we saw a lot of we saw a lot of uh, really clean racing there, and it's really good to see. Um, so that race was definitely something to look back on as a positive. And uh, coming going into Japan, I, we're hope let's hope it's for the same. Yeah, indeed. Obviously, it'll be a wheel track, so the wheel players will have their time to shine. That will mean the likes of Luke, uh, I believe, Rundle's a wheel player, if I'm not mistaken. 
Yeah. Um, <laughs> Rundle might get another win then. <laughs> um, That'd be nice. Jokes, uh, jokes aside, um, <laughs> with the real dominance, you never know if Padfly could win. But um, yeah, I think that's pretty much enough from both me and Chili. Um, hopefully, you guys enjoyed our commentary. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the race. Uh, a very, very interesting one. Um, hopefully, uh, you tune in for tier two at quarter past seven uh, UK, quarter past two Eastern. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much enough from me. That's enough from Chile. Uh, we will see you guys then.